Let's go to the circus. See how the freaks are doing. You hear that? It sounds like two people are arguing. All right, let's do it. Uh, are you ready? Oh, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, wait. What are you whining? Let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but tree looks just isn't going to work. If you enjoy saying dumb things, you're going to have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you going to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trilo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash uh, training course? I'm sorry? Secret crash training. Wow. Yes, uh, Trilo won't give up until I said we try out this n his idea for a new routine. So we were trying to sing around for a new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible. So you see, even they are surprised by the idea. I, I told you. You're not the only ones who even surprised me with your idea. Once we got a grip on the basic, then it's a, just a matter of practice. Y you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what I saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Ben? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. And then we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was uh, draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if you weren't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, uh, I, th I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Hmm, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. I think they saw the ringmaster dressed up as him. And then he got knocked out by someone else. Whoever it is, and ended up getting, uh... They ended up taking the other symbols with them, like the cape and the flowers. But not the... Thing. Oh, fuck, I didn't that. I'm completely serious about her, that's why I'm waiting for her even now. But they left the hat because they knocked him out. Actually, the white roses are still there, probably. But since it was snowing and it was covered in snow, you couldn't tell where they were. Don't give them a seriously uh, serious about it. I'm watering them. I already read that part. Really, that's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, wouldn't you, shouldn't you check out the tent? <laughs> you haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such uh, is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. Um, yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine ri ripe tomato. So how is the new routine working out? Will you just take out a jail pill already? Our routine's a secret. We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a quite revolution. A real revolution. Sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk. Max Galactica. Performer should, performer should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trilo, you seem to be really fired up about all of this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're right. Mark my words, I, Trilo Quest, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. Row, row, row your boat will be the key to a glorious victory. Not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature be, song be best? Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up. You've got to be a part of this, too. Uh, he said to present uh, all these photos to everyone. Would you mind taking a look at this? Oh, my God. That, uh, I, uh, it's... I guess we won't, we won't need you to look after this, uh, look at this after. Anything about this pepper? No. Hmm. Money the monkey? No. That doesn't seem to really matter. Let's move on. Let's 
go over here. See if the snow melted any, so we could see any white roses that might or might not be here. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? No, nah, I'm talking, taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Ms. Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Being bossed around by a woman. I know how you feel. Well, let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me a, a, to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time we, you definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's wound him up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? Going to the clown, the criminal jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room, behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobatic's rooms, pal. Got it, pal? Fine. Oh, Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Can I check out uh, this little patch of snow, see if anything melted? The ringmaster's body was found here. I heard the the way he fell over made him look like he was carrying the wooden box. Nothing new. Interesting. So we can't go to the acrobatics room yet. Acrobat room. So let's go to the big top and see what Regina has to say. See if we can't pull anything out of her. Uh, where's Regina? I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm just uh, allergic to wild tigers. Obviously. December 29th. Max and Regina had their talks in this room. Ringmasters had their... And the talks in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that? Maybe it was cold or something. Nothing, probably. Let's check the cafeteria. Anything? Oh, right! Welcome to the wonderful, fabulous ca cafeteria. Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. Oh, right, you know what time it is. Riddle time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um, come on, you can answer this, it's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction. Meh, <laughs> wrong, uh, try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, ah, I got it. Okay, what's your answer? Because they're the cafeteria. Exactly! It's an incredible, sad, incredibly sad place, that cafe. Uh, I did it! What's going on? He's being too nice. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think I was going to be that this tough. Ah. Huh. Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd last night I had to smash watermelons. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the frame no sho famed no shoots no shoes no shirt no surface joke. Exactly. How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Are you a hundred percent sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear that creep just flew through the air. It wasn't exactly flying per se, it was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a sidewalk, he must be telling the truth.
Oh, not this picture. He showed it to you guys, too. Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bus, too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. <laughs> uh... -uh. Sorry, but I don't know anything about that. I see. After all, I'm just a clown. I concede Mo's a clown, but I get the feeling he's your average clown. Hmm. Let's go to his room. Mo's not here. If he was here, you would uh, you would have been able to tell it even before he stepped into this room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. Ha 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 ha! What do you think he is laughing at when he is all, all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking of new jokes. Hmm. He must really love his work. Okay, so. There is stuff I need to find. Let's go back and talk to Mo. I just wanted to leave. Guess it's wanting too much. You know anything about this pepper? That's the ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performance. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese that Regina, if only my uh, Lorena was that cute. Oh, Lorena's my daughter. She lives with her mother now. It's true what they say about the tears of the world. I can't stand Max and his attitude sometimes. I know. But lately... It's just, lately I've started to understand what he was always going on about. What is it, then? Well, um, I'm not sure I can explain it all well just yet. Just when you think it's impossible, Mo flashes a glimpse of maturity. I didn't even check. I, I thought he was just being stupid about wanting to know about his bust. <laughs> Max's bus should be on that small table over there. Oh, uh, on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh, yeah. When was it? I'd say about five days ago all of a sudden. The bus disappeared. Disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the, on the bulletin over there. Oh, that's huge. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm. Yay, that, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want something, someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Oh. Max G bust added. Is there, uh, is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing's changed that I can t I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or is he setting up a bad joke? Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. What's your answer? A 
Quiet Mo is a good Mo in my book. I guess there really ha aren't any other things I've changed up. Well, there is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us. Mo. Well, on the morning of the crime over at the bulletin board, the piece of paper was posted from front and center. Piece of paper. It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see the its title. Yikes. It says, to the murderer. Murderer? Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Hmm. Nick, I think this is a very important clue. I don't doubt it. Let's go ahead. See if we can't go to the acrobat's room. If not, then we'll go talk to Max about what we picked up. Okay. So let's go talk to Max. We'll talk about the his bust. Let's see what he has to say about it. What about this? Fabulous, you'd like me to sign this for you? Nah. Okay, nothing. Note? Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I, heard, I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart, uh, your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? I guess it wasn't really a company, it was just a ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read that note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? I noticed that. Ah, uh, or at least he noticed there was something in his tailcoat. Why didn't he take it? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the phone from my sweeties. Go and find it on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You're a piece of shit. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess if I could find her. Circus. Let's go to Ringmaster's room and get the damn note. Because it might give us the killer. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved in the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murder. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Tonight at 10 p.m. That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Not updated. Very confused. Very, very confused. Can I go into this damn room yet? Oh, hey, Gumshoe. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. Or with Miss Von Karma. Um, like a shock collar? Or metal detector. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound. Hmm? It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here quick. See you, pal. I didn't know that gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flat foot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. Uh oh, uh, oh, ow. 
That web could cut right through me. On karma. She really did appear. It was a battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix, right? You just have to jump out and scare us like that. What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day, the day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix, right? You mis your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Let's talk to you, baby. Tomorrow's draw. Von Karma, it appears you, uh, you got your hands onto something, eh? I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory on uh, with ten paper bags with your head. Over your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a need uh, and need a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness. You mean it must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. Why do you keep uh, giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of wit. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this con uh, in this or any other conversation? Then, then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I have to see him again, one more time. Yeah. I'm sure you know to whom I refer, Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth, why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that had trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right, it was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Little? Not little brother. Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. But after that case was over, he vanished. It's your fault he's gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... Nick, what does she mean? Edgeworth's death. After that case, Edgeworth was in a particular state, peculiar state, and he got worse every day. I mean, he's gonna come back. Come on. He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor's Miles Edgeworth uh, chooses death. That was one year ago. It was right after he left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Of course he did. He ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. You did. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name of Von Karma. I'm going to find him. Then I'm going to teach him the difference between right and wrong with my own hands. Nick, um, about Edgeworth. My, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick? Von Karma? What? I don't know if you're... if you were God's gift to prosecutors or not. But I've had enough of you. Him too. What, what happened? Hmm. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Jesus. Let's go to the acrobat's room. Whoa. Got enough birds? 
You must be Phoenix Wright. Yes? Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken D D Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you're definitely sh you definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well. That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, uh, all I perform in is my wheelchair. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. Seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was, that's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind uh, to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. You can just look at her and know she is. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. And that's the problem. Truly a princess. Are you sure that's a good thing? Hmm. Do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Wheelchair. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs, legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um... Hmm... Three locks. A psych lock. Doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well... Now exactly uh, when were you injured? It's almost been six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. What in the... W six months ago? When the world went on at the circus then? Huh. What happened? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you were in your room. I was in the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you were th went there for re uh, rehabilitation. What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh. I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. What you saw, jeez, that sounded really ominous. Yeah, I don't trust you, buddy. What do you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a l huge sound coming from below my window. I see the scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd said. You're absolutely positive that it was Max he saw flying? I'm absolutely sure. That is no doubt in my mind. Nick? Yeah, I don't believe him. Not in the slightest. Want to know about this note? Hmm, what's this? That's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the murder. In the cafeteria? What happened? He looks incredible. He suddenly looks uh, incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina, ask her about it. Grand Prix. Maximilian Galactica, right? You'll have to forgive me, but I try not to think about him. Acro won't even look at it. Looks like he something is weighing really heavy on him. Same thing. Hmm. 
wonder why he hates him so much. Pepper? What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my present physical condition, I don't really know much about what goes on outside of this room. Oh, we're sorry. Don't worry about it, no need to apologize. I have to go find that damn monkey. Ew, it's a huge pile of trash. One man trash is another monkey's treasure. I guess you're right. Look, they're all shiny things. He's got a he's even got a motorcycle exhaust. What do they call this thing? Oh, a tuba, right? Of course it's a tuba, silly. You didn't know that. Hey, it's a picture of Regina. Well, she's a shining beauty. No objections here. Okay, she's really not that great. Let's go ahead and go see her, though, speaking of. 